oh, different. Different means different means that that person, that first person, you can't put back in the pool. You got to throw that person out what? The window. <laughs> okay? You're going to throw that person out the window. You guys okay with that? So when you reach in the bag, what's the probability of the second person? You would see this marble scenario, the marble relationship? Throwing the person out the window. That means a different person. Second vote, no. What are you going to say? Well, there's now 244 people in the bag, right? <laughs> and how many voted no? Why 103? Because you threw that first person who voted no out the what? Window. You're going to throw the second person who voted no what? Out the window. How many people voted no? Good. 102 out of? 240 what? There you go, ladies and gentlemen. You're going to have to do this when? Two weeks when you come back. So, how do you guys multiply fractions? What do you guys do? I know it's ugly. If you, if you got that calculator that I told you to get, what you can do in the calculator is put a parentheses, 104 times 103 times 102 in parentheses, divided by in parentheses 245 times 244 times 243. Okay, put this all in your calculator. Remember you got those calculators I asked you to get? This is division. If you do it this way, you don't have to keep writing big number divided by big number. So what did you get? You got, see, somebody followed. See, I like that. If you said, okay, put parentheses, right? 104 times 103 times 102 divided by 245 times 244 times 243. You can even check what you're doing. And what do you guys get as an answer? Let's round this to the nearest thousandths. 0 0.075, right. 0 0.075. Okay, so we're going to round this to the nearest thousandths. This is approximately 0 0.0. I'm sorry, 0 0.075. So you select three votes, the probability that none voted yes is 0 0.075. Okay, you guys okay with that? Is that easy or hard? It's easy, right? Okay. B, what does B say? Anybody know what does B say? Probability that none? None were female. Probability none were Female. What does that mean for none to be female? They're all who? They're all men. So that means how many people you selected again? The first is a man. What else? Second is a man. What else? Third is a who? Man. You guys okay with that? Okay, see what I'm saying? If, if none were female, that's code for the saying we're all what? All men. So, reach in the bag. What's the probability to select a man? How many men are in the bag? 65 men are? 65 out of how many? 245. You guys okay with that? There's 65 men out of the total of 245 men. Okay? Which in the bag? Since they all have to be what? Different. What did you throw? What did you do with that first guy? Threw him out the what? Out the window. So reach in the bag. How many men? 54 men are in the bag out of 244 what? People. 244 people. What did you do with that second guy? <laughs> you pushed out the door. How many men are left? 60 what? 3 out of 240? 3. So, how do you multiply fractions? Multiply all the numerator together in parentheses, divide by the denominator in parentheses. What did you guys get to the nearest thousandths? 
point zero, point zero one eight. Point zero one eight. You guys okay with this? Okay. Now, here's the deal. You guys see the next question? What's the next question say? At least one. Here's the deal. At least one of anything. I'm going to put, represent it by a triangle. You were, guys, remember I said I, last week I, about that complement rule? I told you that what? Get used to using the complement rule. Why? Because some of these questions you can only answer by using the complement rule. Remember I said that? Guess what? We're in that situation. Okay? What that means is, can you tell me what the complement of at least one of anything is? In other words, if I say I'm going to give you at least one what? Apple. How many can I give you? One or? Or more. Two or three or four or five. At least one is one or more. Is that true? What's the essence of the complement? Uh-oh. What outcome is not there? Or let's say what? Not zero, but none. Is that right? You guys okay with that? You guys see what I'm talking about? If I said we give you at least one apple, Gabby, I'll give you one or two or three or four or five or right or more. Yeah, at the very at the smallest, you get one. But which outcome is not listed there? Zero. That's the key. That's the key here. So I'm going to write this down. That the complement. Of at least one is what? None of those things, whether they're apples, cookies, bananas, dollars, people, you name it. Now, combine that idea, meaning you, the phrase at least one of anything has a complement of none of those things. You guys remember this complement rule for probability I gave you last time? Right? Remember this? And remember the other one, which is the probability of an event, is 1 minus the probability of its complement. You guys remember that complement rule? So here's what we're going to put this together. I'm going to use, however, this second version. I'm going to use the second version, and here's why. The probability of at least one of anything is 1 minus the probability of none of those things. So here's what I'm saying. The event at least one is here in my E. The at least one of anything. That's my event. You guys with me so far? You guys okay with that? But what's the complement of E? None of those things. So here, this is what I'm saying. None of those things is in red. In blue, this is what? At least one of those things. So the probability of at least one of 